Introduction Vinita's grandfather has suffered a heart attack. Her father and mother rush him to the hospital. Doctors decide to perform an emergency surgery on him. Next day at school, Vinita asks her teacher if the heart is the most important organ of the human body. Vinita's teacher explains the functions of all important organs of the human body. Let us hear what he has to say. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define organs Differentiate between internal and external organs of the human body State the functions of bones and muscles Brain, heart, lungs, liver Stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and kidneys. Organs. The parts of the human body that help the body perform functions like playing, bathing, walking, eating, digesting, breathing, etc., are called organs. On the basis of their location in the human body, organs are classified as internal or external. Let us learn more about the internal and external organs of the human body. Internal and external organs. The organs that are located on the exterior of the human body and are visible to the human eye from outside are called external organs. For example, skin, eyes, ears, nose, legs, etc. The organs that are located inside the human body and not visible to the human eye from outside are called internal organs. For example, heart, liver, kidneys, brain, bones, etc. Let us understand how some internal organs function. It is time to check how well you have understood the difference between internal and external organs of the human body. Listed below are some organs of the human body. Identify them as external or internal. Bones and muscles. Running, jumping, walking, moving, folding hands, swinging legs, etc. are activities that involve movement of organs of the human body. All these activities are made possible by bones and muscles. Bones are hard organs of the human body. They are made up of minerals like calcium and phosphate. Bones provide a framework for the human body. They provide support and protection to the internal organs as well. For example, the heart and lungs are protected by the ribcage and the skull shields the brain. Both the ribcage and skull are bony structures. Bones alone cannot make us move. Muscles attach bones to one another and facilitate movement. Brain Just as the pilot is the boss of an aeroplane in flight, human brain is the boss of the human body. Human brain is covered by a bony structure called the skull. Brain controls all the activities of the human body such as thinking, seeing, walking, speaking and even sleeping. Heart Human heart is located in the chest cavity between the two lungs, a little to the left of the center of the human body. It is conical in shape. The heart of a human being is the size of his clenched fist. It is a bag of muscles responsible for pumping blood filled with oxygen and other nutrients throughout the body. The human heart beats 72 times in a minute. It works continuously without getting tired. Lungs All living organisms breathe in and breathe out air. Breathing in is known as inhalation. Breathing out is known as exhalation. Once inhaled, the air reaches the lungs. In the lungs, it is exchanged for impure air, which is then exhaled. Human body has two lungs located on either side of the heart in the chest cavity. The nose and the windpipe form the passage for the air to move in and out of the lungs. Like the heart, the ribcage also protects the lungs. Fill in the blanks by dragging and dropping the appropriate options. 
digestive organs. Like machines, human body also requires fuel to perform work. The food that we eat every day serves as the fuel for our body. The food eaten by a human being is broken down into smaller pieces to obtain energy. This process is called digestion. Some main organs that help in digestion are liver, stomach, small and large intestines. Let us now understand the functions of these organs, liver and stomach. The liver is a secretory organ that produces many juices that help in digesting food. The stomach is a J-shaped muscular organ that stores the chewed food brought in by the food pipe. The food is digested in the stomach with the help of enzymes and acids present here. Small and large intestines. The intestines are long tubes where the final breakdown and absorption of food occurs. The small intestine is a long coiled tube where the digested food is broken down completely and absorbed into the blood. The large intestine absorbs water from the undigested food and also passes the waste food out from the body as feces. Kidneys The kidneys are organs that keep our blood free from unwanted substances called wastes. Our body has a pair of kidneys located just below the rib cage, one on either side of the body. The kidneys remove wastes from the blood and various body parts and thus keep us healthy. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Parts of the body that help the human body perform various functions are called organs. On the basis of their location, organs are classified as internal or external. Internal organs are located inside the human body and are not visible to the human eye from the outside. External organs are located on the exterior of the human body and are visible to the human eye from outside. Bones and muscles help us move and protect internal organs. The brain is the boss of the human body that controls all human activities. The heart pumps blood filled with oxygen and other nutrients to all the parts of the human body. Lungs facilitate exchange of gases. Stomach and small intestine help in digestion and absorption of food. Large intestine and kidneys keep us healthy by removing wastes from the body.